Rise of Kuma, but he didn't crack. He never lost his patience. So. I'm actually seeing Kyo win matchups without doing a single power driver or suplex. We'll see. Who will come out on top? Fight! Right, Mike Ross starting Mike out with Ross making good use of the footsies and the patty cake. And taking his time to build meter as well for that Ochio. Didn't combo, but it's still nice. It's still safe. He's got the chip. It's like a chess game right now. Yeah. Kyo just playing some pretty good footsies of his own. Yeah, Mike Ross is using that uh, straight up Pierce just to set the match. He's only hit with it once, but he's using it effectively to set distance. Oh! Balls removed by Mike. Zengi players right. never see that coming. Oh! Here we see someone dash into Zengi. That's why it catches most Zengi players off guard. Yeah. Never see it coming. That's a Nash. That Honda Fierce, that's good if you can get away with it. That one combo. Even against Zengi, that still does a lot of life. Oh! Full combo for Mike. Now the win is in jeopardy. Oh! That was the ultra. Oh, Mother Russia! From a perfect to that. This is why I hate fighting Zangi. That is Zangi. Mike Ross can't get flustered right now. He missed that combo. Oh. Oh, Mike still blocks him. Yeah. That standing jab has a little too much hit stun. All right, Keo's figured out uh, what to do against Mike Ross's jump straight up. Car green. But right now, he can't lose his patience. You can just feel the fear out there. Yeah. Mike Ross baited it out that time. Kyo, Kyo had beaten him with that two straight times, but this time Mike Ross had the option. <laughs> oh! Oh! <laughs> Empty green hand into Ultra. Kyo. Kyo is just adding names to his list. It's okay, Mike Ross. He got me also. All right, I'd like to welcome all 900 people who are watching us on this stream. And uh, they're, they're tuning into a pretty good match. Kino fighting for his team's life right now. Has to keep Team Black Money alive. Kino so far doing a good job shutting down 2 one one Yeah. He's got... Kino switching pretty seamlessly from safe offense back to defense. He started off the round a little bit more offensive than I thought he would be, but now he's built that meter. Okay. Oh! oh. An uppercut. Yeah, Barog low fierce, that, that is so solid. You can play Barog effectively without a charge. Will the tide of battle turn? Fight! Yeah, he's he's trying to, to keep the pressure on, but uh, Kino's facing is really solid right now. Oh, yeah, still in good position with full meter. Uh, 
got he's got Barog in the corner. This is this is the best possible situation. Barog in the corner. You have enough meter to safety one scissor kick. Oh, he go one Very one. Nice. Very good with that. Yep. Now he's in the corner, knocked down. He can't get better than oh. that. Oh! Hugo's got tricks. Book out a page of Sanchez. Yeah. Oh, that hurt a lot. And just like that, Kino took the lead. Nobody wants to make the first move here. Oh! Hugo stuffs Kino's crouching fierce. Oh, that shouldn't work. I don't know why that works. Oh, oh, oh! That's a double whammy because he lost all of his meter. I'm almost positive he didn't do that. Back to square one. Yeah. It all comes down to this fight. It's match point for Team Ninja Warrior here. This is oh, good back down. These guys are yeah, Finding the range for that low fear that's really important. Yeah, Kino, Kino's been doing some really good blocking this round. That's why he's building more meter. Yeah. Meter safely, anti airing safely. He's playing he's very playing, solid. He's playing perfectly yeah, right now. Very, very crisp. He goes into the jump with the storm. I think Hugo might have been going for an ultra. I'm not sure. Ooh. Yeah, at this point, Kino could be content to just turtle it out. Make make Hugo come to him. Which one of these fighters will turn the tide in their favor? Oh. There's a little bit of bait there, but Kino didn't take it. 20 seconds left. That's Hugo oh. gonna do. He might have been going for an empty That was, that was smart. You know, there was no reason for Kino to, to uh, move forward at that point. But now Kino has the pad geek, the terror from the Amazon.